all of us go through a process of growing up. We're a helpless infant and suddenly we learn how to move, how to crawl, how to walk, how to talk, how to think, how to feel, how to interact with other people, how to regulate our emotions. And if everything goes perfectly, which it never does, we come out a fully integrated human being with no shadows. Well, I have yet to meet a person who has no shadows and no traumas. It is not easy being born, let alone growing up. And we all have conflicts and scars and scar tissue. So what forms a shadow is it's resting on some earlier developmental trauma, some disturbances in the way that we were raised that leave scars and scar tissue. When we're indoctrinated into the world that our parents live in, this, this gives rise to developmental trauma. Now, just picture your, your parents caring deeply about you and they notice you're doing something that will really cause conflict in the world in which you were born. Like, let's say, for example, you're getting angry. You're not playing well with other children. And because your, your mother deeply cares about you, she yells at you and she says, don't do that, and you jump. And it, it really has an impact on you. That there's a threat of violence in that yelling at you. And she's controlling your behavior. And about the thousandth time that happens, you develop a permanent flinch, right? When somebody yells at you in that way, telling you not to do something, you flinch. It, it becomes habitual. And what happens is you don't want to disappoint your mother. You don't want to subject yourself to violence. So you look at the behavior that you were doing, getting angry, and you start to suppress the emotion of anger. Well, not only do you suppress the emotion, you suppress the whole subpersonality that gets angry. So now the angry self goes hidden. It goes into shadow. And you learn to develop in the opposite way. And you might say something like, I never get angry. Well, this isn't quite true. The part of you that gets angry has gone underground and it's still getting angry. Everyone around you is experiencing your anger, but now you have a belief about yourself You've believed a lie, and that lie is that you're not angry. So not only do we have a disowned self, the angry self, but we have the false self, which is this story that I don't get angry. I'm not an angry person. I never get angry. So that's a really good example of, of how shadows are formed.